Okay, we are live. Uh, just, oh, not just. I, I did the, the Twitch pre show, and I figured I would start from here. Uh, the way that you get here is you have to walk down the Keage Incline from uh, Keage Station on the Kyoto subway line. And from there, you are able to uh, get to the Kyoto International Community House. Uh, Kokoka for short. Today, April 29th, well, April 28th and April 29th, they have uh, the Kyoto USA Food Festival. And I just took a walk around, and it looks like a lot of really good looking food. A ton of like food trucks that I didn't even really knew existed in this area. But anyway, uh, gonna take a walk through, uh, and I found out that there will be a hula performance at 12.15. So that should be something to watch out for as well. Uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions. Say hi. Uh, and I will do what I can to answer while I'm walking. Uh, as we come right down the incline, you can see there are quite a few Harley-Davidson motorcycles parked out front. And not only that, it looks like they're actually selling them. It says for sale. And it also says, I think that they're also fixing them up too, which would be something interesting. In case you're wondering what this particular line is for, uh, it is for french fries. Or in Japan they call them fried potato. Fried potato. Even though they're not, well I guess they're, they are technically deep fried. So it is technically a fried potato. It says that there's a sale, but I don't know what they are selling. This year I can't buy it. Here it is saying... Kyoto USA Food Festival. So look at that. They have a nice, nice banner here. And they have some people sitting up front. A very unhappy baby. Even people in some kimonos. Interesting. There's the entrances here. I have a feeling that uh, her brother would not share his uh, french fries. So anyway, I'm going to take a look right down here. And... Here we go. See, as you can see here, is uh, the subway station that I was mentioning or referencing earlier. And yeah, this is the line for, it's called Mochi Mochi Potato. It's interesting. Uh, I've never seen anything like it before, but that is, ooh, some pulled pork it looks like. I'm taking a look through. Yeah, there's quite a line. That is expensive for potatoes. And let's see what people are getting. Whoa, look at that bag, takeaway bag. Cheese steak, chili dog, smoked chicken leg. Ooh, that looks good. Even something called a monster dog. That looks interesting. So we're gonna walk, keep walking on through here. Mexican food. Mmm. All right. Oh. Even some hootie hootie chicken. I may have to tag uh, the person that I am an acquaintance with. I wouldn't say a friend. I've only met him once. But uh, he is on the Food Channel. He's a very, very nice guy. And uh, yeah, I may tag him later so he can see if it is actually like authentic. But we do see it roll, uh, turning and turning. So it does look like a hootie hootie. There's one piece, 350. Oh wow. Because right now the waiting for it is 30 minutes to even get anything. So here we have a nice little taco truck. Looks like sausage as well. Ooh, quite a different thing. Oh, and even shaved ice. Go figure. So they have some nice stuff there. This is wood fire grill and craft drinks. Although I did ask, they don't have craft beer, unfortunately, but they do have craft ginger beer and tonic water, handcraft sausage, and wood fire steak. Ooh, I may have to get some of that later. Now, those are some serious sausages and steak. Mmm. Susie's Barbecue Steakhouse. I may need to get some, uh, what do you call it, like business cards later, but this looks really interesting. Uh, sirloin steak for 1000 That's not bad. T-bone steak. So American merchandise, selling things, it looks like someone got a steak 
Very nice. Oh, you can get a custom driver's license plate or custom plate for three thousand five hundred. You're kind of interesting there. Konnichiwa. Beach Tribe. Oh, that has some really nice art, even on like Daruma. That's very cute. I'm gonna just come back later for some, uh, for some, what do you call it, like uh, business cards and whatnot. But just taking a look here. It says, yeah, Kyoto USA Food Festival. Grab a bite. There's lots and lots of families here. It's a very family friendly event. Uh, I'm gonna take a walk in through here. Uh, to my left is the uh, Kyoto Interna International Community uh, House, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. But they have lots and lots of really good events that go on, such as this one. And also a lot of support for inter international peoples. So that is something uh, to consider if you're ever in Kyoto and you need some help. This place is a little bit difficult to get to, but it is well worth the trip. And it has some organic beef hamburger. Huh. I'm going to have to tell them later that that is incorrect. But let's take a look around here some more. Troy's American Barbecue. I believe this might be Troy himself. Oh, looks like they got some pulled pork. Very cute. Ah, oh, the baby, not the pork. Oh, that looks delicious. That's some... Yeah. La Jolla roast beef steak tacos, very nice. Fresh fruit squeezed orange juice. Look at that. Ooh, can we get a Philly cheesesteak? Oh, I wonder how well that actually is. Oh, that looks really good. Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Oof. Hamburger and a cheeseburger. Oh, that is not a bad price either. 700 yen for a decent sized hamburger. <laughs> the gravy, Kyoto. I'm not sure what that is. Or, oh, so never mind, that is from here. Grilled meat every day. I'm gonna have to come back for that. Okay, pasta. And some Mexican, oh, looks like a tortilla. Oh, and they do have a &W root beer, which is not all that easy to get by. But, oh, look at that. That looks good. And right back around this way, that shaved ice. It's very nice. Alright. Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna take a look. Ah, so here's the stage area coming up ahead of me. That's where, oh, in fact, it looks like they're getting ready to have their uh, performance. So I think what I want to do is I want to do a quick just, uh, walk through to finish up and then to come make my way back for the hula performance. The Texas King Burger. Oof. Look at that thing. 900 yen for that. That may be worth it, actually. But yeah. And we got some <laughs> proudly domestic, although technically in Japan it would be uh, an import, but all right, Budweiser and Corona. And then we got some Spam. <laughs> Musubi. With barbecue sauce. Very nice. Ooh, steak bowl. Steak. Jeez. I wish I brought more money with me. Mm. Looks like they're going to be getting ready for that hula performance. So I'm going to take a look. All right, walk through here real quick. How about the Tex Mex truck? Very cool. Oh, even dog friendly. Very nice. And there's a pit master. Vamos. Right. Oh. Mm. Tex Mex, El Nino, <laughs> Black Angus Beef, Pitmaster Vamos, if you want to check them out. Barbecue, American Steak Sandwich, Pork Sand, Chicken Sandwich, Angus Beef. And we got over here, ooh, some Loco Moco. Wow, look at that. Now that is some fancy looking Loco Mono, Loco Moco. Yeah, looking through. Ah, okay, there's some merchandise. And the real American hamburger. So this is where I came, or one of the entrances here. 
I'm gonna make my way back to the stage so that we can check out the hula performance. Uh, that should be starting within just a couple of minutes now. Wow. I honestly did not expect to spend very much money here, but my stomach is growling. And um, yeah, this is, this is impressive. So let's see if I can't get a good good seating. Alright, we're just gonna wait here. We have a nice viewpoint right here. Even though it's really hot. That's okay. Oh, looks like they're gonna be starting. Messing around with the audio right now, getting ready for some hula. Oh, and starting out with little ones. That's so cute. <laughs> Aloha. What kind of kind of word? Aloha. Aloha! Aloha! Wow. They're very talented. 
ありがとうございました。マハロエヒロハナカヒでした。次の曲はケエイ。ケエイっていうのはハワイ島にあるビーチの名前ですね。とってものんびりしたハワイ島時代自体がのんびりした場所なんですけれども、のんびりしたすす
ありがとうございました。プープーアエバーでした。次の曲はカプアアノラニ。ハワイアンソングにはラブソングがとても多いんですけれども、この曲もそういう曲です。もうとにかくと褒めて褒めて恋人を褒めて褒めたたえるとっ
ありがとうございましたカプアンドラニでした最後の曲になりますパニニプアケア、えー、サボテンの白い花っていう名前の曲なんですけれどもこれもラブソングですね恋人のことをサボテンの花に例えていますイプ見せてあげてくださいひょうたんを使った楽器イプを使って踊ります、えー、今日はねミニステージを4ステージさせていただくんですけれども、えー、次のステージ1時からになりますのでもしよかったらまた応援しに来てくださいありがとうございました最後パニニプアケア That was very impressive. And、uh, she said that they're going to have another performance at 1 o'clock. However,、uh, I plan to end the live stream well before that.、Uh, I'm going to just take, I guess, a walk out to finish this up. And yeah, this was, I'm definitely glad that I stumbled upon this. And、uh, just so you know,、uh, this is in its third year. So、uh, it looks like they're going strong. Looks like they will definitely continue. So, this、uh, looks to be an annual event in Kyoto. So, if you're interested in something like this, then、uh, just let me know. And, well, you don't even really need to let me know, but、uh, you can definitely find information about it online. And it looks like overall a very fun time. Uh, quite a lot of different people. A person with a kind of gray ish mohawk. Interesting. A lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. I saw lots of tattoos, which you don't see so often in Japan. But、uh, yeah, that just shows to, or I guess goes to show what kind of diversity you can find at these kind of events that are hosted by. Let me see if I can't finish up with. <clears throat> shot of where I am. As I said, this is the Kyoto International Community House, Kokoka for short. And they are a fantastic organization. And I'm going to finish out.、Uh, well, let me finish out actually with the main banner. And then I am going to eat some food because I am hungry.
walking around here has been uh, very, very mouth-watering. And he's standing right in the way, but that's okay. Anyway, thank you very much. So, wherever you are, uh, whatever time it is, and uh, whatever you're doing, yes, take care, have a good day, have a good night, and I hope to share again with you soon. See you.